my friends, my name is Alyssa. I like to sip on wine and play Sims, so let's begin. So today while we play Sims, I'm going to be drinking another boxed wine. This was given to me by a wonderful friend named Paige. I am currently quarantined, so I wasn't able to go to the liquor store and actually get a bottle. Luckily, Paige had this sitting in the back of her car and I was able to take it. It looks like a raccoon already tried to open it. <laughs> I've had one glass of this, but we're still gonna do a taste test. Um, this is the Cabernet Sauvignon. Yes, 13% alcohol. This is going to be a very dry wine, which isn't always my favorite, but it's wine, so I'm gonna drink it style. Okay, so this is definitely not as sweet as we usually go, but honestly, it is, it, it is really, really good. I did have this with dinner yesterday, and it is really yummy with food, just because it's not too overpowering. Um, it's definitely a sipping wine, not a chugging wine because it is kind of thick, but it's definitely really good. Um, also, some exciting news about The Sims that I literally just saw before I started recording this episode is that they have released some new updates to the game um, because they have a new expansion pack coming out in three days, Snowy Escape. But for this new update that's just free for anyone, even if you have Snowy Escape or not, um, you can make any lot a rental lot now. So that means that my girls can go on a beach vacation when they're done with all of their schoolwork. Um, and then also there's something new called Sentiments, which I am so excited about. This is, from what I've watched the producers play on YouTube, it looks like it's just another way to make really fun, deep memories with other Sims. So it just makes makes it more realistic, which is something that I absolutely love. So I'm very excited for this new update with our Sips and Sims. Anyway, cheers and let's get started. Okay, so I just got into the game and another thing that I remembered that they said they were adding, including the sentiments, were the Sims profiles. So you can, so like with Jesse here, um, for Nalani. We'll go and open up her sim profile and then it shows you, this is so exciting, it shows you their whole body which is really cool, their traits that you know of, their education or careers that like your sim knows of, and then their relationship. So right now it says that her and Nalani are just friends. Um, a friend will always be there for a kind word. <gasps> okay, so as we play different like I think memories will kind of pop up and so you'll have like more complicated relationships with sims than others and kind of track it through this. I am so excited. Okay anyway so it is still the evening before their first day of class. Um, Kira is asleep because we still don't know where her homework is so that's pretty cool. Thanks Kira. For Jesse, I already forget her class schedule. This is what's really hard is I always I can't keep track of what class is when so while Jessie's doing her homework I'm just clicking through all of their friends just to look at their new sims profiles and I clicked on Grant and it says that their relationship is soulmates two sims one heart and it also says he's the key holder because he does have the key to our apartment fun I also forgot that Grant is a snob so that's cool despised things have gone awry with this relationship can it be salvaged we don't even know anything about him other than we hate him that's literally all the information we have about Zachary <laughs> all right good job Jessie she got done with one of her homeworks she also has a class called brushes of greatness that's at 11. I know it's 2 a.m but welcome to college you're not sleeping you are doing homework now Robert I need you to support my career and stop chomping. All right, Jessie's done with her homework and it's only 5 a.m. Oh, goody, she's already off to a great start at college. Okay, quick, go to the bathroom and go to sleep. Your homework's at, or your class is in three hours. It's fine, it's fine. I'm glad Kira got a full night of sleep. That's because she did none of her homework. Oh wait, did her homework spawn back in? It didn't, okay. And as Jessie's going to sleep. Kira is waking up for the day. <laughs> All right, that's fine. I guess we can walk around and look for her homework while we wait for class to start. Look at all the roommates getting up, getting ready for their first day of class. Aww. Okay, well, I'm sorry you guys are all offended that Kira's showering. I don't think they gave us shower curtains. Yeah, what do you expect? What did... Sorry, there was no options. 
Yeah, I'm sure she does feel embarrassed. She's literally showering in a cubicle with no shower curtain. Oh, Kira, your homework's gotta be somewhere. I know that we can go to the little kiosk where they bought their university clothes and she can buy a new notebook from there. So I guess we could do that, but I kind of wanted to save our money. I really thought it would just spawn back into our inventory, but I guess not. I guess we'll spend some money on a stupid notebook. Ah. Oh, it's only a dollar. <laughs> all right, girl, you got to do all of your homework now. Let's see here. You've got a class at 1.30 and a class at 9.30. Okay, meets. Oh, that's right. She has to do her meets homework. What? Ah! Oh, there it is. Oh, I thought she just... Look, she immediately is doing her homework because she got stressed out. Well, that's what you get for leaving your homework sitting about. Oh, no! Jesse, you're late for class! Oh, my gosh. Hurry! Go! You're already, oh my, why didn't you get up? You're, oh my gosh, you are 30 minutes late to your intro to art history class. They're probably calling your name and you're not there. What, what, what? You took up your, whose homework is this? Is this not your homework? What? What? Why do you have two homework notebooks? Did you casually get yours back? Did we waste a dollar on a notebook? I guess that's okay. Okay, well whose is this now? Kira, you need to cheer up and you need to hold your notebook like a big girl and wait outside for your class to start. Jesse put in enough work to get a decent grade out of that class. Kira's off to class. Hey Jesse, it's me, Pania. Do you want to go on a date? No, we're in college now. Oh, Jesse, you're late for class again? Oh my gosh. Kira, how are you doing? You're good. Doing your homework, sadly, but that's okay. Kira, stop it. Put this in your inventory. She drops her homework on the ground every time she's done with it. This cannot be a habit, Kira. Good job, Jesse! You did all of your classes today. Why don't you go home and take a nap? All right, then, go to class. Don't set your homework down, you stupid girl. Okay, fine, go to, go to your class. I'll keep an eye on this homework for you. Oh, also another fun update with my Sims game. I just recently got Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack. Um, so I might have them do some like recycling and like I don't know, maybe get some like, I don't know. I'll have to figure it out because I literally just got it and I've only played with it off screen for like a couple hours. So I'm still kind of learning the ins and out of eco lifestyle, but for the most part, if you aren't completely like recycling and being um, environmentally conscious, conscious your town will slowly kind of become gross and like industrial. So the air quality will be bad. The water will be kind of gross looking. There'll be trash around where if you make everything kind of more green, it starts looking really pretty. People put up beautiful like trees and there's flowers everywhere and the sky is super blue, which is really, really cool. But then it makes us want to recycle more. So I do, I'll probably have to figure out how to incorporate that into this college because I don't want them to go to a nasty college with trash everywhere. <laughs> Actually, that works out perfectly though because one of Kira's aspiration things that she needs to do is donate to a protester. So we could find a protester who's wanting people to be more green and then that could help our town and also she can get a point towards her aspiration. All right, we are at Darby's Den. Oh no! Open up the, open it up, we're hungry. Okay, well, while we wait for the den to open up, let's do kind of chew homework so we can at least have her homework done for tomorrow's classes. What time does this open? Does it open at five? How's it going? How are your classes today? Okay, so Jesse's having zero fun. Girls, just finish your homework and then 
you can go out and like go to a dance club or something. I know it's a Wednesday, but it's fine. All right, so we are going to be going to Firewater College Bar. This was obviously found on the gallery. It was made by Dem Colors. <laughs> All lowercase. I'm very excited to see this awesome college bar. Um, is there a bartender here? Are you the bartender? Oh, let's play juice pong. Okay. It's going to be her and Kira against uh, this April and uh, Alika. Where's April? Oh crap. I chose them to play against pros apparently. Come on, Kira, don't let me down. Go, girl, go. You dropped the ball? I mean, you are playing in mittens. <laughs> this is embarrassing. All right, so Jesse made one at least, so that's good. Come on, come back, come back, come back. No! April's a party girl. Maybe we'll be friends with her. <laughs> Rats! Good game, guys. Let's introduce ourselves to April. She seems like a fun person. Hi, April. You seem like a fun time. Would you like to be our friend? Let's compliment her outfit. We love your pink zebra top. Oh, good. April's evil. Well, we'd rather have her on our side, I guess. Oh, no! <laughs> Kira, oh no! <laughs> Look, she's calling an Uber while she's sitting on the toilet. That's dedication there. All right, let's go home and go to bed. Hopefully we don't wake up our roommates. I wonder if they're big partiers or not, because I didn't see any of our roommates out tonight. But it was a Wednesday, we have to remember. There's see Thursdays tomorrow and Friday. Then we can have a good time with our, our roomies. Oh, they're all awake. Oh, someone made a cake though. How fun. How'd you make that cake? There's no stove in here. Someone also made lobster. There's no stove in here. Where did you cook this? Jessie's class is in four hours. She's hungry and needs to shower. So why don't you go ahead and shower now since everyone looks like they're in class and you won't be embarrassed. I guess you could eat this cake. <laughs> Does anyone have a mini fridge that we could steal from perhaps? No? Okay, that's fine. We'll just eat this cake. Let's see. Jesse, do you want lobster or cake for breakfast? I can't decide which one sounds most appetizing for breakfast. We'll go with cake. Pania says, hey, I heard you became friends with April. She's pretty cool. How does Pania know everyone? And why does she keep sliding into our DMs every single day? Oh, Corbin brought chocolate chip cookies. We'll eat that instead because the cake got gross. Corbin, where are you getting all this food from? Oh no, okay, from our eco footprint, it looks like it's slowly becoming more industrial. Well, anyway, in the meantime, while we're waiting for Kira's class to start, we'll go ahead. Who keeps bringing all these cookies? Where do you guys keep getting this food from? Let's, let's go somewhere with Kira. We could go to the other, college campus. Oh, she's so cute. Who's this? Lana? Oh, <gasps> Jessie, meet her. Let's do a bold pickup line. Jessie's feeling confident today. This is a nice little hangout at Foxbury Institute. I liked that Lana girl. Let's text her. Look at all these people. Hi, your name is Jensen. Taught about university superiority. Yeah, do it, Kira. They're all doing their homework and she's like, as you can see, I'm from University of Brightchester so and we're the best. Yes, <gasps> Lana's coming back. There she is. Hi, Lana. We can first kiss already? Okay, okay, wait, that makes me nervous. Ugh. Yes! Yes! Well, let's go home and then I'll quick fast forward so they can do all of their homework and be ready for Friday so they can have a super busy Saturday and Sunday. Well, I'm glad our roommates are all super clean. What the heck? You guys just casually bring in ran- Who brought in the entire roast chicken? Where are you guys getting this food? And then I just look around and there's just trash heaps everywhere. 
All right, Jesse, go to class. Come on. You got two more classes between you and the weekend, homie. You can do it. I love how Kira just has like a casual selfie of her in the pumpkin patch just sitting on her nightstand next to her. <laughs> voting is now open. Head to your mailbox or the nearest public voting board. Perfect. So this is a way to make our town more green. Um, so like I said, it is kind of becoming more industrial. So we just have to find a mailbox near here, which might be difficult. I might have to cheat a mailbox into this world so we can vote for more green um things yeah actually while they're sleeping in school i am gonna do that community voting board perfect we'll just put the community voting board in their dorm so that all their roommates can vote yay good now they can hopefully vote we do need influencer points am i getting influencer points you pretty much just introduce yourself to people you're kind of well liked around the town um all that fun stuff so when they get back from actually let's see how many influencer points do they currently have I think you need 15 to vote. So Kira's good and Jesse's really good. Cool. Well, Jesse can vote a lot for some green things. Oh, there's Kira just eating some roast chicken for breakfast outside her apartment. It's a good thing that your roommates just casually bring home food from I don't know where. Because then you guys don't ever have to spend money. Oh, she's cute. Jesse, you're not doing your homework anymore. You're going to meet this cute girl. And last if she's single. Oh, oh rats, we have to go to class. Bye, Eliana. We'll talk to you later, I guess. Okay, so let's check out the latest gossip around the neighborhood action plans, and then we'll vote on the action plans. So here are our options. What does Kira want to vote for? Does she want it to be an eco-friendly, have eco-friendly appliances? Uh, foodies unite neighbors let's get cooking so everyone just cooks in school that's interesting green gardening rough housing no we wear bags no tech support and eh. sharing is caring let's share everything uh let's do eco-friendly appliances how is rough housing in first place right now Who's voting for this? Why would someone vote for this? Have you ever heard another Sim's opinion and thought, I should be polite, but I really think this conversation would be better if I asserted my stance, refused to back down, and ultimately engaged in a full out neighborly brawl? We're with you. What? Sometimes we believe there is such a thing as being too polite. We should band together. Who's voting for this? Why is this an option? Oh gosh, okay. Is there a way we can vote against this? I am not about to go to a school where people are just fighting. That's gonna get us nowhere. <laughs> Yay, Jesse, good job. Okay, come home and vote because you have a lot of points and we can use all of them to not be in a neighborly brawl. We are voting for eco-friendly appliances. We got a lot of points. Yes, we're winning now. 10 to five. That's Grant! Grant! Grant came to visit! Hi! Okay, wait, okay, wait. A couple things are happening right now. Grant is here, and then some man who is an eco master came by and said, Oh wow, you've got quite the mess on your hands in here, don't you? Um wait, wait, okay, okay. I read this completely differently than okay. This is what this says. Oh wow, you've got quite the nice mess on your hands here, you dirty little hoarder. Want some help cleaning up all that trash? Who are you? Who are you? Why are you at my campus? And who like Grant in? What is happening right now? What is, um, I don't, um, are you actually wanting to clean my house or is this some sort of weird thing? Are you like, uh, Okay, we're going to invite this creepy guy in and hopefully he cleans our house and doesn't smell us. Oh. And Grant, hi Grant, I am very excited to see you. We are going to convince you to support the eco-friendly appliances and hopefully he'll vote. I'm gonna follow this Knox guy around, I don't trust him. Wait, he's actually cleaning. Who hired a maid named Knox to come in and call me a dirty little hoarder? 
Did anyone bring any food? We're hungry. Okay, now Nox is saying, you know, now that I'm pretty much done with what I wanted to do here, do you mind if I hang out a bit? How has your day been? I'm a little scared of this van, to be honest. He kind of looks like he can't be trusted either. All right, friends, this is where I'm going to leave off. Um, we are finally done with our college classes for this week. Now we're gonna go into the weekend, finish fulfilling some of their aspirations. I have no idea who this Knox guy is. I'm kind of concerned for my girl's safety. Um, but if he comes in and cleans up the house and is just kind of a creep, I mean, whatever, at least the house is clean. Anyway, thank you so much for watching Sips and Sims episode seven. I hope you are enjoying this. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.